Okay, folks, taking a look at the dollar index here, and I'll give you a reason why um, I outlined this morning. We've done the New York session time frame. I felt that uh, cable was a buy. Um, we outlined, or at least I drew your attention to, studying the formation of it, knowing what you've been taught so far. But I just want to give you a little heads up about why I felt it was warranted. And admittedly, I didn't take any trades today. So we're only going on the basis of me pointing to the cable trade that's set up in New York. But I'll show you also how that also builds the case for other foreign currencies being bullish intraday. All right, so uh, we had Friday's trading in here. It, it gave up a lot of the range on Friday from its high. And we start a new week here. Uh, Sunday, we really don't really pay too much attention to it. We had a really nice run on Thursday. So the chances of it continuously going higher, yeah, it could have happened, sure, could, but most likely chances are traders are going to sit on the sidelines and wait and see what uh, transpires going forward. And that either re results in a consolidation or sometimes a retracement. Okay, And if we can get some kind of indication that that's bearish on the dollar, if you look at the dollar index on in the London session, I'll leave that portion to your study. Uh, you'll see that it had a really nice optimal trade entry for sell for the dollar index. So we're going with that premise in mind. So and then we'll go through the majors real quick and show you what optimal trade entry patterns formed today. Okay. First on the list is the Euro dollar. And I got the ICT kill zones on the chart here. You can see clearly it's the London open kill zone and the New York kill zone. Now these are ICT kill zones. These are referencing specific times of the day. They're not areas in the chart like it's been taught on YouTube and other uh, teaching circles, if you will. Um, the kill zone <laughs> is uh, is specifically a time window in intraday. It's all it is. So an ICT kill zone for London is specifically, the sweet spot is 2 o'clock in the morning to 4 o'clock in the morning. It usually creates the higher low of the day. And that's what you're seeing down here. Okay, you can see the low forming in here. Now that's not the lowest of the, of the day. Obviously you can see the low forms over here a little bit earlier in the day during Asia, but you know, we're going to use that low and ferret out this particular move right in here. Okay, so from Asia we have a rally up. Why is this one going to be factored in? Because we have highs being broken here and then we have it again breaking. So if we do get a retracement while the dollar is bearish, we pull up our optimal trade entry in here. All right, and we'll drop that right down here. And what I'm doing is I'm laying the, the line right on top of these bodies, of these candles here and here. Boom, right there. Optimal trade entry, London open. Rallies up, symmetrical price swing. Now look what happens. It, it gets one, two, three times, and it leaves a really clean price level. And I, I've mentioned this many times before uh, in my group. <laughs> we refer to this as Candyland. Okay, this is a sweet spot of liquidity. Now, the market does, in fact, retrace all the way back down into another, what, optimal trade entry. Notice it's using the same reference points framed off of this range. Went right back down to the sweet spot, 70.5 level, and then rise all the way back up to do what? Clear up these buy stops. Too even, too clean. Charts don't like to keep that stuff uh, intact. The markets will come back and disrupt that perfection. Okay, so that's what that run is here. Beautiful example of that. Two examples, optimal trade entry in the London Open and optimal trade entry in the New York session. Okay, next on the list is Euro Pound. And you can see here the London Open kill zone. ICT time window for looking for the London higher low to form. And we're going to put our FIB one. We're going to use the highest open or close down to the lowest open or close, not the wicks. Okay. You see optimal trade entry in here. Beautiful example of that. Sells off rather handsomely all the way back down into the New York ICT kill zone and takes us right down into the showstopper. This is a 200 extension, by the way. Just needed to have that little flare there in case you hadn't noticed it yet. <laughs> so, beautiful example of the euro pound taking a dive. Now, notice also that the euro dollar, as we mentioned in the previous chart, didn't have a whole lot of movement. It was kind of like a, a consolidation day, back and forth, didn't really have much of a trend. And Euro Pound did. So if Euro Dollar is being held in consolidation 
and we check out what's going on over in the cable market, this will explain all this move here. Okay, so now we're looking at the cable for BridgeCon USD. And before I start marking this all up, obviously you can see nice low of the day. This is the low of the day on this particular pair during the ICT London Open Kill Zone. Sweet spot. Now again, at the beginning of this red line, at the end of this red line, just draw an imaginary vertical line, okay, right up from there. And that's how I interpret the price, okay, in terms of kill zones. Now I don't personally look at this line on my chart to okay to qualify. I just know that when I'm up and trading in London, that's usually the time that it's going to perform between two o'clock and four o'clock in the morning, New York time, the higher low of the day forms generally, or an important higher low, let's say it like that, because it could be, as we saw in another case uh, earlier in one of the pairs, that it can create a lower high in the Asian session. But 70% of the time you're gonna see it forms during two o'clock to four o'clock in the morning, New York time. All right, so now, this low, some of you don't have a Sunday candle, okay, and that's fine. Just go back into Friday's data and find a short-term high that was broken. The short-term high is broken right here. So now we go back to the swing low prior to that. We anchor to the lowest open or close, drag it up to the highest open or close prior to the London open kill zone. Boom, right there. Optimal trade entry, really, really nice run. Get up to uh, again the showstopper, <laughs> and then uh, the ultimate uh, setup, which was today. This is kind of more of a not so much of a hindsight thing. I was trying to draw your attention to this one. I said, study this one in Twitter or on Twitter. I said, pay attention to this high here. Okay, note this high and the action off of it. We retraced all the way down into a bullish order block. Bullish ICT order block. Well, you'll learn about that in the ICT Sniper series. And let's zoom in just a little bit. Okay. And you can see the beautiful optimal trade entry here. And price runs up into target one also. Okay. Really, really nice, handsome price action on this pair as well. Okay. Now we're looking at the dollar yen. Now, as I mentioned earlier, I told my personal group that I felt that we would see the dollar index retrace down to the 50 level. Okay. And I'll leave that up to your whether we want to believe it or not, but uh, everyone in my group knows that I was anticipating some measure of a retracement on the dollar index down to the 50 level. So if that happens, that's going to be bearish for the dollar pairs that begin with the USDX or dollar index before the name in their pair. So dollar yen is most likely going to be heavy today if we see that weakness on dollar. So again, same scenario, we're going to look at the ICT kill zone for London and New York. We're gonna use the highest open or close here on this swing high in Asia, and we're dragging it all the way down into the lowest body open or close here, okay? So we have this range here, and then right during this time window, interpret right between these two vertical lines, that's where the higher low, or an important higher low will form on the intraday, okay? So the algorithm will price in a significant higher low at that time. You can see it goes right into optimal trade entry right there. Beautiful. And price sells off. Now, if you had missed this, no problem. No worry. Go into this swing high here. Highest open or close down to the lowest open or close right here. And price during the New York open kill zone. ICT New York open kill zone. Optimal trade entry. Sell. And again, price trades off rather handsomely in response to that as well. Um, additionally, there is another one in here, okay, that you can use. And we can use it on the body here of this candle. And we drag it down to the lowest body candle right here. And again, nice optimal trade entry at the 62% tracement level. And really nice sharp acceleration away from that. And a larger uh, 200 extension off this high and off this high, as you did earlier, would have called for more lower prices than just this one here, okay? So, okay, next is the dollar CAD. Now, initially, uh, we would be looking for a selling indication or something to go weak on this currency. Usually that happens on the, uh, the heels of a run higher. So before the dollar CAD collapsed, went lower today, it had to go higher first. 
and initially this would be the range from Friday. It's close up to this high here starting on Monday's trading. And you can see by itself, it gives you a nice optimal trade entry, but we had a little bit slightly higher high. So if you're up and watching it, you would use this range here, right there. So this high on this candle's body towards the end of the ICT London open kill zone. So admittedly, it's just outside the range of the times. So you can see at 9, 10, that's 10 minutes after 5 New York time. That's typically when I'm anticipating the close of the London sessions. Well, I would be usually taking a nap at that time. Uh, but it does go a little bit deeper than that. But you can see even at the 62% tracement level, it's still well within the time frame that uh, encapsulates the, uh, the London Open Kill Zone. Okay, we're looking at the Dragon, or otherwise known as the Beast. This is Pound Yen. All right, so I didn't come up with these names, folks. They're just names that uh, other folks have been uh, <laughs> been known to call them by. Fiber, cable, all those things. Um, a lot of the new traders think that I had came up with those nicknames for those pairs. They're not. They're not mine. Okay, so believe me, everything I came up with on my own, you'll hear me jawbone about it enough. But the... Uh, this swing low here, why am I using this swing low, Michael? Why not this one down here? Why'd you just why'd you just go here? You're picking the ones that's best fitting. No. This short term high being broken, we go back to the nearest short term low right here. Lowest body candle rallies up to the highest body candle. So there's our range we're gonna look for. Optimal trade entry is in here. Okay, it does wick through a little bit. Your stop would be at this position here. Nice optimal trade entry here, and it gives you another buy here, and another buy here, and then boom, explodes up to target two. And that's a break in market structure. It takes a, a, a really nice dump lower here. And one of my students shared a video with me today, and this is really what inspired me to look at the beast here. Um, it gave a nice little optimal trade entry during the New York kill zone. So it did give a buy here in line with what it would be expected for a weak dollar index, but we have a nice little sell-off. Highest portion of this swing high and lowest portion here. So we have this swing here, optimal trade entry, boom, at 62% trade zone level, lovely. Sells off down to the 200 extension. What's it doing? Reaching below the lows over here. Okay, too clean, too, too clean. And when we see that, we know there's going to be a run on liquidity for that. Okay, uh, could potentially go one more time deeper, lower than that. So you cable guys, uh, be mindful watching uh, dollar um, index and the relationship between cable and also yen, because I think that may be a catalyst for this to reach a little bit deeper below here. And that's going to be it for today. I hope you had an insightful Monday with me. And until tomorrow, wish you good luck and good trading.